Hello and welcome back to Feel Tomato Fry. Um, it's been a long time since I've streamed the game with my face because I can only do this when I am streaming on my girlfriend's computer. And so um, basically what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be playing the Stanley Parable. Now I've been really keen on playing this game but I just never really got around to playing it because I got really distracted by all the other games that came out recently. However, um, I recently saw Jacksepticeye play this game, the, the Dulux, the updated one that just came out, and I got really excited. I was like, okay, I can't, I can't forget again. I really have to get it as soon as possible. And so, oh! Mm. I'm hyped! <laughs> I'm so hyped for this game. Let's begin. The end the end is never the end is never the end is never the end is never loading. Okay. So um if I keep looking down, it's because I'm looking at the chat. Oh, I'm so excited. So the reason why um This is the story of a man named Stanley. Never mind. <laughs> Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And cool. Stanley was happy. That sounds lovely. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay, before we move forward, um, oh, okay, so you're working on two school projects. Oh, goodness. <laughs> That's a lot of school projects to be working on right now. I hope you managed to complete them. I usually try to like stagger and do like the the one with the shortest deadline first and then move on from there. Um, that actually sounds like a job that I'd like to have, probably. Um, I I understand what you mean and I, I kind of feel like for the longest time I wanted a job like this because that would mean I could just go to work, clock in and clock out and like come home and be creative so i can understand why you would say that and i do see the benefits of it which is probably why i'm also playing it <laughs> okay another thing i like to say is the biggest reason why i wanted to play this game is because of the liminal space as we've been introduced this this man Stanley he is alone in this huge office space and I am so excited to explore it you know how I am with the middle spaces so yeah I'm almost done with one just that the other good job proud of you okay keep it up um, I'll just be the noise in the background then to accompany you while you do your homework okay so let's get started um, Stanley stood for a long time in one spot it's <laughs> part of a game he likes to see how long he can go without dying. So far, he's doing excellent. If he just stays right where he is, I'm sure he'll keep up that good momentum. Let's observe the genius at work. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm gonna just sort of 
go through the motions of this game. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Why did it Stanley close? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So this game is all about choices, apparently. So whatever choice no I make. No matter Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Um, what is that? Can I interact with that screen? Oh, did I turn it off? I suppose I did. There's some papers over here. So yeah, apparently the choices that you make affect the storyline, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, so far, I think I've kind of just pissed off the narrator by just standing in one spot. Okay, um... Ooh, there's a yellow box over there. Does the yellow box do anything? No. Ooh, there's another computer that's on. If I keep pressing all the computers... Oh, I literally just keep turning them off. I am a very, um, energy... Username access. Ooh. Okay. Can I go in here? No, I can't go in there. Uh, okay. The music has gone off. Where is the music? Oh, look at how cool these liminal spaces are. It's totally empty, void of all human life. You really feel like you're not meant to be here. Okay, there's a door open over there. And the time is like... Um, I guess it's gonna be 12 soon? Yeah, something like that. Wait. Okay, I guess further down here. When Stan oh. came to a set of two open doors, oh, he entered the door on his left. <gasps> oh, goodness, right, okay. Um, this paper's lying all over this. Can I jump up or anything? No, I can just move from one side to the other. What is left? I'm actually really bad with directions. Um, left? This was not the correct way to the meeting oh. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly right. well. Right! Okay, Perhaps never mind. to stop by the employee lounge first. Sure, sure. We'll go with that. We'll pretend like it's not because I have no sense of direction. Um, oh, nice. Time moves on the same. So what else can I do? Can I jump up or jump down? Oh, I can sort of climb upstairs, I suppose. Just a lot of moving from left to right. Hmm. Charming, is, is this where you want, you want to come and work? <laughs> In this little space factory of paperwork? Ah, the creative uh, mind stream. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed can I, room. Can I, can I get a Stanley cold drink? simply stood here, drinking it all in. Sure. Can I open the blinds? No? Yes? <laughs> yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Yes. Really worth it. Yes, it is. It is, narrator. It is absolutely worth it. Look at that liminal space. Come on. There's like literally no at one here point, but me. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy. <laughs> and we, but at last, he had enough of the amazing room <gasps> and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Oh, that was my left? Okay. Um, oh, I'm supposed to take the first open door on my left. Ooh, there's a phone down here. Would you say my obsession with liminal spaces is creepy? The first open door on my left. Ooh, what is this? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but the okay, never mind. Do not lie if you're lying right now, stop. <gasps> How dare you accuse me of lying? Um I'm standing up. <laughs> I love the narrator's humor. I don't think so. <laughs> I know, right? Ooh, where is this? Another cool liminal space. What does it say? What does it say? 
Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. Will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift is $1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift is $5,000. Wait a second. If I die, I'm still going to get charged? How does that work exactly? Whoa, look at those boxes. Charming. My gosh, you know I used to work at a factory? We used to wrap all these boxes and I wrapped my boxes into all of the, the the palms and the smooth texture of my fingers just turned into sandpaper. That's another job you can Stanley, consider. I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong. I actually quite like that. I'm not sure. It was very peaceful. It was just me and a bunch of aunties. Trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact Ooh. is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Oh, okay. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stan. Oh, really? Someone you've forgotten about. Ooh. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Who is her? I didn't know there was another this character. Is it, your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. Okay. To let her back into your life. Who is her? She's been waiting. Who's waiting for me? Yes. Who? Who is she? I want to know. Why did the door close? Okay, fine. Fine. Let's find out who this she is. Am I going through the door? Oh! Wow! That's oh. Oh you my gosh. The one to do this to reach out to her if you can truly place your faith in another <laughs> then pick up the phone <laughs> but i don't want to this is so creepy why would you just put me in a room and force me to talk to somebody i don't know is it my mom if it's my mom i don't want to pick up the phone who is this person <laughs> what is going on well that's called probably a love interest or family member but that's why love interest maybe family member no thank you can i can i just leave why can't I interact with these things? Is there another way out? Can I like plug the Stanley picked up the phone? Aha! A red light engulfed him. No. Him not just with radiance, but with hope. But I but unplugged it. United one wait. Oh, <laughs> Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yes. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I don't I well, actually chose incorrectly. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. Oh I'm sorry, Let Charming, I did it. I got too scared. If it's my mom, I don't want to pick up the phone. He's definitely here, clear as day. Go stand in one corner. Picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. I don't want to do it. How is that even possible? Because I, I didn't know that. supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait Sorry, Charming. Did I just see? Sorry. No, that's not possible. I can't believe what? it. What? I not noticed it sooner. What? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. What are you going to do? You completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol. How am I getting scolded? Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm okay. going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. What does Please that mean? Instructional video. Oh 